Greetings from the Loire Valley in France. Behind me is the Chateau de Brissac, an absolutely magnificent chateau, been in the same family since the early 1500s. Just been on an exploration of the inside. In this part of France, there are literally dozens of absolutely magnificent chateaus and castles. This is one of the smaller ones actually. And um, they're, they're scattered throughout the valley. They're what the homes of the kings and noblemen of France. Because of this, because of course, this part of France is not that far from Paris, the centre of the of the kingdom, as it were. But anyway, as I was going through the through this castle, and we've been through a few others as well, it really brought to me my thought that I wanted to share with you today. And that is, I'm sure you would agree that the castle behind me is absolutely magnificent. And the people who lived there were incredibly privileged and lucky. They were a tiny percentage of the, the population at the time who had the wealth, who were able to, to afford not only to live in a castle like this, but to build it in the first place and manage it. But the thing is, despite all their wealth, despite all their privilege, despite their comforts, if you like, what they had in their life was just a fraction of the comforts that we all enjoy today. And I think too often we take for granted the fact that we really do live in the most privileged, comfortable, secure time in history. We have things that they couldn't imagine. I mean, recently or the other day I went into a castle where they, they had this big bathroom and they were saying that baths were quite a, a rare experience and it wasn't because people didn't want to bathe it was just it was so difficult. All of the water had to be heated. It all had to be carried by buckets for one person to have a bath. So the things we take for granted, just like bathing, the food we have, all of the comforts we have, until very recently in history, they were not an option for most people. And even the kings and wealthiest people of Europe, of the world, even a hundred years ago, would probably have been astounded to know what we take for granted now. So maybe we need to think about that a bit more often, about how lucky we are. And sometimes we forget this when we're busy worrying about our problems and, and getting all stressed. We forget to appreciate just what we have. That's my thought for, the, for today. Talk to you again soon. <laughs>